So you're a Microsoft Word and you've got an issue where your table of contents needs to include headings that are above the table of contents. So at the moment, all the headings below the table of contents are included because they use the appropriate heading styles. But above the table of contents, those heading styles are not applied because we don't want the numbering to be included in these headings. Well, let's temporarily apply those heading styles. You can see I do get the numbering. And if I refresh my table of contents, the offending numbers appear. Now, what you can actually do is just delete the numbers. So if I click before the text for that heading, and backspace twice, it gets rid of the number and the indent. Let's do the same down here and then refresh my table of contents, the headings appear without the numbers. So you wanted to include numbering, but a different style of numbering. Well, what I can do is go back to this heading and on the home tab in the paragraph group, there's a little drop down called numbering. And from here, I can select a different style of numbering. So let's say I want lowercase Roman numerals. Now, if you don't like the indentation there, you can just play around with the settings on the ruler. I'll leave it as it is. And I'll apply the same numbering here. So then if I go down to my table of contents and update the field, it includes that style of numbering. Now, another method is to create a specific style for the headings above your table of contents. So let me undo all the changes that we've applied to this document. And then let's look at that second method. Okay, so we're back to how we were at the beginning. What I'm gonna do, instead of applying these default heading styles to these two headings, I'm going to create a custom style. And to do that, all I need to do is format the first heading as I want it to appear in the document. So I'll make it bold, and increase the size of it. I'm then, with that text still selected, gonna to go to this little button in the styles group and create a style. I'll call this style pre-TOC and then click on OK. So you can see now that this style appears in the style gallery. I'm gonna go down to that second heading above the table of contents and apply that same style. Now, once I've done that, and go back to this first heading. I go to the References tab. I then click on Add Text and then select Level 1. Then I need to do the same thing to the second heading, Add Text, Level 1. So basically what this is going to do is allow us to include these headings in the table of contents. So if I come down here to the table of contents, right-click, Update Field, Update Entire Table, the two headings get included. Now these styles could also include numbering. All I'd have to do is modify the style. So I go back to home, I right click on this style and go to modify and go to format and then numbering and choose a numbering style. Click on OK, click on OK. So it's applied that change to the first heading, but also to the second. If I then right click my table of contents, update field and update entire table, it includes that numbering in the table of contents. Okay, so the second method does require a little bit more work because you're creating a separate style, but it gives me a little bit more flexibility in terms of how those headings above the table of contents can be formatted. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.